Mo Willems and his writing craft of using a dialogue that makes the reader be involved. Hello, today I'm going to be discussing how Mo Willems uses the dialogue in his books to make the reader feel like they are either listening in on a conversation between two characters, being told the story with the characters being right there in front of them, or being a character themselves by having to respond to another character in the book. Willems does a great job of pulling the reader into the story so that they feel involved. This is a great craft that he uses in his writing. Because I have introduced, introduced these books in other videos, I'm just going to give a short synopsis of them now. Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus is about a bus driver who asks the reader directly to specifically not let the pigeon drive the bus. The pigeon begs and pleads with the reader to let him drive the bus. The bus driver returns before the pigeon can, f pigeon can fully convince his reader, but he ends up finding something else to drive. Read the book to find out what the pigeon gets to drive. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed is about Wilbur the, na the Mole Rat, who goes against the grain and wears clothes, unlike all the other mole rats in his colony. When Grandpa, the leader of the colony, finds out Wilbur wears clothes, he supports his decision and starts wearing clothes himself. This is convincing enough for all the other mole rats in the colony, and they start to wear clothes as well. Let's Go for a Drive is about... Elephant and Piggy who want to go for a drive, so they start planning it, all the things they need for a drive to realize in the end that neither of them actually own a car that they can use for their drive. So they end up using all of the items they got together to play pirate instead. In the books mentioned before, the dialogue and text of the book are all very important to reader involvement. Each book does something different, but they all have connected the, to you as the reader to the book itself. Let's take a look at each book and see how it involves the reader and see why Willems did what he did by using those techniques. And Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, Willems creates involvement with the reader by allowing the reader to be the other character in the book. Both the bus driver and the pigeon talk to the reader as if this was all happening in real life and the bus driver and pigeon were real. This is very fun for any reader to read because you can feel like you are involved in so many ways. You as a reader are in charge of making sure the pigeon doesn't drive the bus, so you must tell him no. In the book, Let's Go for a Drive, you are reading the book as if you are an outsider to the conversa conversation. You are just listening in on what is going on. This is not he said or elephant said, it is just the conversation that you are observing. Willems makes you feel like you are there seeing this all happen, but you're not talking with the characters at all. In this last example, Willems combines the two different scenarios from before into one. The narrator introduces Wilbur the, Wilbur, the naked mole rat, and he says hello to you, but does not expect you to respond in any way. This technique makes you feel like you are there watching the events of the story taking place, and the character in the book knows you are there, but they don't expect anything from you. This is a very fun book to read. As you can see from all the examples, Mo Willems uses many different techniques to pull in a reader and allow them to feel like they are part of the story, or they are at least right there when the story is happening. By doing this, Willems makes his books more enjoyable, and he does not do these things by accident. He knows what he is doing when he is writing his books, and as a reader and a writer, you shouldn't be afraid to allow readers to feel like they are part of your story.